In this video, we will be talking about a license that may not be appropriate for younger audiences. The video itself will not show any inappropriate clips or photos from the subject, but may discuss the events of the subject matter. Please watch at your own risk. Right, okay. I go by Brick Tree Lap, but you can call me Tom, and welcome to the video. Today's video is based on the show that no one can stop talking about, including myself, Squid Game. This set is going to be about the first game that's played in the series, Red Light, Green Light. Or as most of us know, at least if you're from the UK like myself, what's the time Mr. Wolf? So without further ado, let's get into the minifigs. Also, as a lot of you may know, this is a Korean show and I am terrified that I'm going to butcher the names. So I'm just going to go by the numbers that they're given rather than making a fool out of myself. The first figure here is player 456, the main character of the series. I loved his character so much and I can't wait to see what part he's going to play in season 2, provided that they make one. He uses a custom decaled print for the jumpsuit that they all wear and uses the Anakin hairpiece in black. The second figure in this set is player 001, or as most people refer to him as, quite simply, the old man. I love the facial expression that I gave this figure and I think that the hairpiece I gave him just perfectly mirrors the way that he looks in the show. The next figure is player 218. He uses the Emmett hairpiece in black as well as that custom jumpsuit torso that all the players have. His character was so well portrayed and I love how his story changes as the series progresses. The last player out of all these figures is the fan favourite, player 067. She had such a great backstory in the show and her character was perfectly portrayed. I really like how this figure came out as well, but I'm still not 100% certain on the hairpiece that I used for her. The last figures here come as like a package deal though. It's the Squid Game Workers. I absolutely love how these figures came out and I really think they capture the creepiness of the show. I've made three figures, each come with the different shapes on their heads, the circle, the triangle and the square. I also redesigned that hood piece to make it into a custom so that they would look that just little bit better. Now without further ado, let's get into the build. And here it is. As I've already said, this set is based on the red light green light game and I think it came out really nicely. It includes the actual room where the game takes place, as well as a separate build for that creepy robot doll and the tree that it plays the game on. The play features in this build include the fact that the windows on the side of the wall where the workers can shoot the players that are caught moving can close to reveal clouds that have been painted onto the wall where the game takes place. As well as this, there's also a function which allows you to open and close the doors by sliding them to let the players out of the room when you may please. The next part of the build, however, is my favourite part. It's that doll robot thing, which was what initially sold the show to me when I watched the trailer. I think this looks good for what it's supposed to be, and I've given her this strange face print with tinted blue eyes to give it that robotic look. As well as this, I included a small tree built alongside her to accommodate and finish the set as a whole. Finally, I designed some box art for the build, which I think came out really nicely. The set contains 487 pieces, and I think it would make a great playset for fans like myself if LEGO were to ever tackle themes aimed at older, more mature audiences. And if you haven't watched Squid Game already, go and watch it now. It's honestly one of the best series I've ever seen and it has great plot twists, characters and storylines. But unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you want me to make another Squid Game custom set, then can we please hit 100 likes? Anyway, I'm sure I'll see you all very soon. Bye.